Good morning. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to Oxman Garage. So, today we're going to be doing the heater core, or attempting to in that beautiful car. Yeah, the time has come. I need to stop procrastinating. Well, I need to just get it to, do, you know, just gotta get it done. So, heater core is sitting all the way up there on top of my toolbox. But first off, we gotta move these cars. I gotta get this car in here. So, uh, let's get to moving. By the way, right now, I'm on my, I'm on my phone. Uh, I keep looking over there, I need to stop. Camera's over here, guys. Oh, Phil, Philip. All right, so, let's get the cars moving. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm on my iPhone and not on my camera. I forgot to charge my cameras all the way up, so they're inside charge at the moment. So, we'll get those done. And uh, we'll get those uh, charged up as quick as I can. The one thing that's gonna slow me down a little bit is uh, I gotta let her run a little bit. I just can't turn her on and turn her right back off. Just can't do that to uh, call carburetor engine like that. Have more issues than good. It's just easier to just let it warm all the way up before you move it. So all I do is I turn it on inside the garage and I hit the clutch friction just a little bit just to get it rolling. Roll right out of the garage and I don't even hit the gas at all. I just do it enough just to get it to move. So. Let's let it sit here, run for a couple minutes, and then I'll go move her and park her. Finish up getting her in the garage. All I need to do is move the Corvette now, and we'll be good to go. Ah! There's no room to make up on. So we got the car inside the garage. <laughs> got everything out of the way. He brought me Dunkin' Donuts. Came in clutch. So now we're going to get to... Is this unlocked? No, nope, it's... it's <laughs> Stupid. Hey, you know what? At least I called it. Call it so now, we're going to take out this whole dash for Ben. You want, you want to show the audience what a heater core looks like without breaking it? No, it's this big. That's it. Goes inside there. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get busy with it. Three, two, one, go. All right, so, so far, got the steering wheel hanging. Obviously, the seat's gone, and yeah, the Mr. whole dash is. Mr. Phillip, they deliver it for you. <laughs> Come on, you can put it up. So, trying to get the rest of this dash out. The where we're going to is the blender box, which is situated right here. So, this is where the vent hooks into, but all back in there. That's where we're getting at. So, this whole thing has got to come out to get that out. Amazing, right? Mm -hmm. Guys, so Ben's working on taking all the screws out to separate the heater core box, which is where the heater core is situated right inside. We have gotten it out of the car. So this right here is the physical heater core itself. That obviously coolant runs through. That gives you heat inside of the cabin. Just walk around. Got my hood prop tool. It's just a broom. And yeah, uh, I should I should turn this light off to save. But I had to take everything out right there, undo the the AC, which I didn't have any free on the system because I had one of the lines rupture way back when, probably like two years ago, three years ago. So no heat, no AC right now in the car. But we're we'll be going fixing at least the heat problem for at least the winter time, and then I can fix the AC later on. But at least I'll have heat in the car. So well. We also, because, well, we're working hard, right? Right, Ben? That's right. Well, we, we, hard we, work. we had to get some chicken filet for lunch. Mm -hmm. I wash my hands first before I eat, but got some Chick fil A. So that's pretty much where we are at the moment. I actually might do this whole video with my, my phone since I haven't gone to bother messing with the, uh, the camera. camera got. But kind of don't want to get it all nice and dirty, so probably just gonna mess with the phone. Don't be a baby. You hear this guy? I'm the biggest baby. He's been watching me work a lot. Mm -hmm. I said, you've been watching me work a lot. Well, that's because I don't want to get in your way. There's not a lot of room in the car. To, you know, yeah, you're kind of tall. And I'm also kind of tall. And... Sausage hands. Yeah, sausage hands. This is the only one that won't come out. That's what she said. <laughs> a lot of these jokes from <laughs> Phil today. Well, you've had them back. You've had some pretty decent comebacks. More than normal there, buddy. 
practicing oh. saving up. I'm almost depleted off of my stash, so. <laughs> Wear me out, though. The boys know what we're talking about. That's right. The boys. The boys. The boys. All right, guys. Well, he's going to finish up that, and then we're going to eat some food, and then we'll be back. Dang. <laughs> and macaroni and cheese. You can get fries. No. So rude. Well, at least we got maple cookies. Thanks, Yoshi. <laughs> so, going to eat the Chick-fil-A. And then hopefully get that heater core back in the car today. ASAP. Definitely. You get that heat before it gets too cold out. Because right now it's like in the 50s. It's beautiful. I thought I was going to be able to wear a hoodie all day. It's too hot for that. It's so hot. It's definitely a good weekend to be doing this. It's like 50, 60 degrees in the middle of November. What the heck, guys? Global warming. No, definitely not. I think we're going to get hit with some snow this year. Pretty bad here in Maryland. But all right. On to eating. Back to the car. With like two seconds ago, he was not using good language. Oh. Lefty, Lucy, righty, tighty. Yeah, boy. Off, <laughs> so, I've been here turning the fucking shit thing. Getting that dashboard back into the car. <sighs> Fuck you. <laughs> Make it loosey when I need it tidy. You think it's a joke? You think this is funny? You think this is a game? I think the how you're standing right now is kind of funny. Oh, shit, I just trapped it. <laughs> so, putting everything back together, I got the steering column back in, gotta put the front fascia back on, everything else. You're just making my car dirtier. I just watched it. If you watch my, <laughs> if you just watch my channel on thanksgiving i just washed this car <laughs> that's a disrespect right there <laughs> sorry i didn't see the video wait what what you didn't see the video I feel, I gotta go. back so soon god you didn't watch my last youtube video so i've been a little bit busy is that right yeah why don't you try some breathing classes <laughs> We're doing that right? Oh, I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> so we gotta get the rest of the car back together, which we should be done probably hopefully about an hour or so. It's honestly, it doesn't look like it's that far, but it's honestly almost back together. Gotta put the rest of the interior back together and put the strut bar back on. Put the air, put this thing back on. The intake? Badass. Put the intake back on? Yeah, I mean, that's pretty simple. And yeah, then- then maybe tomorrow I'll hook the heater core the rest of the way up because I don't have brand new heater core hoses and stuff like that. But that's easy. I don't need the car all pulled apart for that. So. so you got an hour and 45 minutes of me left. Use your time wisely. You hear me this? I'm on a timer. Use your time wisely, so this labor ain't cheap. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> Gotta be quicker than that. Is it Chick Fil A? This is not a paid product placement for Jesus Fillet. <laughs> I wish it was. <laughs> All right, guys. So I just turned the uh, well. I just plugged the battery back up. So, uh, well, we got the hazards going. So uh, let's hope everything's back together the way it's supposed to be. To the car. Moment of truth, guys. Moment of truth. Huh? Huh? Lights coming on? Yeah, these LEDs died on me. It would have been smart if I actually had LEDs to... What do you call it? No check engine light. Four o'clock spring. So we're good to go on that. Good to go, but yeah, oh, <laughs> that came back on. Yeah, I needed to get new LEDs or just new lights in general. Maybe I'll go back to just normal incandescents, but yeah, let's take it for a test drive. Let's go get something to drink and see how it does. 
back up out of the garage. Make sure I don't hit the Corvette, because that would be uh, that would be very bad. That would be very very bad. Alright guys, well, I made it to Wawa, safe and sound, no issues, had one wire that got loose, so I had to zip tie that up, but I had zip ties in the car, so good to go on that. So, this is pretty much going to end today's video, honestly the only thing I got left to do is go home, play musical cars, get everything back the way they were, so that will be fun, but it's kind of dark, so you guys are going to see that, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, have a jet, please subscribe to the channel guys. And if you did enjoy this video, because we all know you did, smash that like button for me. Alright guys, peace out.